Welcome back guys. Um, very simple technique I'm going to speak with you about today and uh, that is around filters. How to apply filters and how to apply multiple filters while you have already filter applied on your screen. So why we use filters? Very simple answer. We want to see a certain criteria applied on the data on the screen and that particular criteria when it's applied on the data, we want to see that particular data. For example, if we have a huge amount of information where we have multiple products, how we can see that product, order number or value. That is what I'm going to demonstrate in a very, very simple way to you. And you will be able to certainly uh, to see that data, how it transforms uh, with filters. So let's move on and let's see what we have on the screen. Um, we have certain data, two ways to apply a filter onto your um, data that you have. One is that you go to your ribbon data, select data and click on the filters. When you apply filters, you can see that we have ability now in the shape of these handles that you can apply filter now. So let's apply filter on this screen. For example, I want to see a certain um, criteria. Let's say I want to see uh, machinery including computers click on it and now on the screen you have only machinery including your computers so that is a very simple way of doing this one another way of doing this is that you can simply go and you can select here for example plastics and the moment you will start typing your excel will automatically recommend to you are you talking about plastic and plastic articles yes i am and there we go so our criteria is plastic now so that we can see plastic articles here and, and plastic products the second grade now we have one criteria applied so this shows that one criteria has been applied already now we need to apply the second criteria as, as, as we discussed so the second criteria here could be let's say order number so I'll choose one order number out of this um, and I know that probably is 57 and there we go we have two um, filters applied over here and we can see that those filters um, are demonstrating an order number specifically for a specific product this is one way to do that another way to do that is very simple also a shortcut key and I'm a big fan of shortcut keys when it comes to Excel and using our Excel abilities during everyday work we don't have a lot of time to go to the options so the best is if we know the shortcuts and quickly move on with the features that we really need to apply in Excel so in this case we'll have control shift L that's in most of the English keyboards it works very well when you press control shift L you're able to see now the same uh, view you can sort them and you can filter them and you can use the same way for for example pharmaceuticals I can filter them around as well so I hope um, fellows this was um, a good learning point for especially for the basic uh, new users in Excel to identify and understand why it is important to have uh, filters and use filters more fluently and frequently um, I would recommend you to practice it the more you practice it the better you will understand this uh, subject and if you have any questions or comments please use the comment sections below and share your ideas questions queries um, or, or views whatever you may have I'll appreciate if you write down there don't forget to like the video and share it as well and also if you are a newcomer on this channel and you're watching my videos for the first time don't forget to subscribe my channel so that all the videos that I make in future may reach you um, adequately and you are able to see with the notifications uh, my new videos on, on this channel. I wish you all um, a very safe rest of the day and um, stay safe guys. Take care of yourself and I look forward to speak with all of you very soon in our next video. Till then, bye-bye.